All right, I want to thank you for making it goal at Boston Sports Note as we bring to you the second game for both teams. You're looking at Lakovia in the blue, sky blue versus the dark blue with yellow stripes of the St. Elizabeth Technical High School. The Stets the team, they won their first game by a goal to nil over Magadi, so they are on three points and in third at the moment in the tables, the standings. The Lakovia team, they went down 2-0 to the Monroe College team. So they're here to make amends. The Stets team are here to expand their winning ways. I'm Goldbuster. And I want to thank you for making it Goldbuster Sports Note. The Costa Cup 2024 Zone E. And if you, see, if you look on the hills, you can see the rain, dark clouds all over the place. So we're expecting rain later on in this game. Let me give you the starting lineup as we go ahead for this uh, uh, clash. Let's start with the visitors as uh, Lakovia High, Christopher Henry in goal, number one, Jovan Griffiths, number three, Alberta Walker, Trevor Garden, Javon Ambersley, Roshane Francis, Shamari Vassal. Rajay Simit 13, Marco Dean Simit 15, Amoy Cunningham 18, Tayshawn Duncan 20. So coach Michael Clockin has made three changes to the team that lost to Monroe where Rajay Simit in for Jaden Parker, Marco Dean Simit in for Tyrone Bembridge and Amoy Cunningham take the place of Kishan Jones. For the Stets team, though, it's a unchanged squad as Johnny Stedman in goal, 43, Javon Wright, 6, Rahul Hill, 7, Justin McPherson, Jade Lynch, 8, 11, Henry Johnson, Shemar Stewart, 15, 19, Jawani Garden, 22, Najee Brown, 23, Jordan Blake, and 25, Malik Wellington complete starting lineup for both teams so we are getting set for this game is Stets versus Lakovia and the uh, let me just give you some scores in the first round as uh, Newell they went down 5-1 to BB Coke and you heard it earlier Monroe they won 2-0 over the Lakovia team so we are getting set for uh, Lakovia, Zone E, Clash, the Costa Cup 2024, versus Stets. All right, here we go. And uh, uh, Doyen Tommins in the middle. Kishana Robinson, first uh, assistant. Patricio Gillespie the second assistant. First touch off. The game, free kick. As a, uh, Johnson Dory, who uh, expected to, to lead from front. Goes to the Stets team. And, uh, so, number 15, Simit. That's a, a Stuart, that is, for the Stets team. And they had a good game against the Magati team. But, uh, unfortunate for the number 15 player, he could not score as a uh, Francis force the first corner of the game goes to the Lakovia team.
we go. Corner kick, block over. And referee. And seeing something in the penalty area, just having a word with both players, Rafael Hill and, and Francis. And corner can comments. At the front post, they were partially away from Johnson. And the giant spectacular was Captain Griffiths. After play the game, simple. Give and go. Can he get there? And I, I done well. One nil. And the effort from the captain, that's Jordan Blake, down the flank. And the Shamar Stewart with his first goal of the campaign. He stretches, but he manages to get that one pass Henry to make it one nil here for the Stets team. A third minute strike. From Shemar Stewart, number 15, 1 0 steps, they lead. So, uh, early strike. So, uh, early strike. And uh, the, I'm sure that Omar Rambo would have burned. That's what he would have wanted, and he, he got what he, he wanted. Uh, early goal now let's see if they can expand on that early lead here's jade lynch captain blake having a good game um, and he says get up get on with it here's a justin mcpherson very quiet player and uh swung that one all the way across and uh, uh Najee brownie controls and allow number six Garden to uh, get a sniff and he crosses that one inside and cleared away partially and uh, back here is a shot and a block there from Duncan so uh, here's a Hill who tries to go through two players and he, he screams but uh, a player is down it seems to be the goal scorer in number 15 Shemar Stewart so 1-0 is the scoreline a third minute strike from Shemar Stewart all right so uh, Shemar Stewart off receiving a treatment and the game continues as the rain begin to pelt down here at the St. Elizabeth Technical High School grounds and uh, the uh, this team. And the flag is up for a throw in. Waited too long. Johnson and allowing Ambersley to get in for as Walker can take the Lakota team forward. And Cunningham, who's playing on the right right full back position and uh, Shamari and Fasso who will hey. definitely hey. poise a bit getting a goal hey. for the Lakovia team he had a few uh, look at goal versus the versus the Monroe College team and the Monroe they play against the BB Coke team so uh, Kemar Ricketts going up against his former team and, uh, it's a good game to watch as we, we focus on the Stets versus Lakovia again one nil is the scoreline uh, 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 Francis who stand his grounds play that one through that's a nice ball and uh, getting behind the defensive third and uh, Giddy took a touch 
Saved by John Roy Stedman. And uh, Lakova team coming close. Ball that tread through from number 10, Francis. And the Lakova team with their first chance of the game. And the save tipped away for the second corner. Coming up here for the Lakovia team. In the corner. And the penalty area. 1-1. One, one. And uh, he climbed highest. Number 10. Francis. Rushing Francis. Climbed the highest. And uh, headed that one pass. The goalkeeper John Oy Stedman to equalize here. Nine minutes on the clock. And the Lakovia team, they're back on level terms. So, the Lakovia team getting back. Six minutes. Lakova team they, they got back a, a equalizer in the ninth minute and the ball across the goalkeeper comes fumbles and still inside the 18 yards and cleared away as a test team they regroup there's a Blake good touches back here Blake across and the sliding was a McPherson that's Cunningham play that one over the top Joe in the garden who can get the steps team up forward and Walker uh, so 1-1 one, one. and uh, we're looking at a good game here and the Lakota team came back to a, a ninth minute header from number 10 Francis here we go so, uh, coming on the plate inside on to uh, Joven Griffiths here is a uh, play that one across and the two close to goalkeeper John Oy Stedman from uh, Francis. Look over the team, they're pumped up now and zoom with confidence. And a uh, uh, set play that uh, has been haunting the, the test team. High balls, you have to. And a uh, late challenge from a garden. Free kick, Stets on the edge of 18. Free kick, Sentinels by Technical, 1-1 one, one is the scoreline. 13 minutes. Can they get the goal of form of this set play? As Justin McPherson, who, who sits on the D. And in fact, that was a, that is a Javon, and the goalkeeper has made a Important block, block. McPherson and couldn't get past Smith as a uh, Chauvin Griffiths who's playing in the in the defensive midfield role. Ball over the top and uh, uh, Johnson could not take that one down. One one. To Lynch, you know, watch closely from Roger Simic, and Simic has done well. Number 13, and switches direction of play onto Francis, he couldn't control. So, 1 1 is at the scoreline, 14 minutes. Spread across, headed partially away from Gordon. Blake, who's having a good game, he played that one wide onto Najee Brown. Decides to go forward and watch closely from number three Griffiths. 
throwing deep down in the Lakovia team half. 1-1 one, one remains the scoreline. Here we go. Goal kick coming up, but it's this team, they need to be more precise. They need to, to uh, get rhythm going forward. Eh? Nice rhythm to get the first goal. Be more like that. 1-1 one, one is the scoreline. Lakovia in the sky blue versus a Stets team in their dark blue and yellow. We're coming to you from the St. Elizabeth Technical Sports Complex and uh, yes, uh, I'm a goal at Boston. It's always a pleasure to bring schoolboy football to you. Chippers inside. I'll we'll get the pass through. And uh, McPherson, Shamari Vassil, number 11, who had uh, that dribble here is a Shamar Stewart who decides to go forward. And uh, last touch of Lakovia, Griffiths, corner kick coming up here for the Stets team, 1-1. One, one. Okay, okay, get a shot. Get a shot, block. Looking for support, playing all the way back to Rahul Hill. Hill played wide. There's a guard who looks for support. Goes out for a free throw. It's Francis. A different formation from Coach Clucking. It's proved fruitful as they got their first goal. Francis over Jibber. Jay Lynch steps in possession. Have to go forward. As a, a, a Duncan who gets that one out of his defensive third. So in that steps. And one is the scoreline. 17 minutes on the clock. There is a person. As a Javon right to advance. Crown, Blake, looking for the return pass. And there's a, a nice move from Walker. And ball that played forward for Ambersley. Rahul Hill, as Ambersley been watched closely. And Rahul Hill with a tackle. And the referee, uh, Cummings, didn't like. So, free kick, Lakota. So, 1-1. One, one. And a ball at the back post, headed for uh, Johnson. And uh, Johnson who, who looks up and a ball that uh, intentionally for a lone striker in number 15, Stewart. He did not get there as Duncan was first to that pass. 1-1 one, one is the scoreline. We're watching Stets versus Lakovia. Back up 20. 24 zone E action Francis and the ball credit through but the flag is up offside call and this team though they're playing a lot of long ball and they need to pass the ball around it's a wonderful surface good to, to pass around it's a Jake Lynch reading the ball really well Played forward. Stetskin possession all the way to his custodian in John Stedman. Flag is up on number 11 Johnson. They're taking, they're taking too long to get off, to get out of their defensive third. And uh, the, the Johnson. The Stets number 11 player, he was walking. You have to, to jog out in order to beat the offside. Chop. 1-1. One, one. All right, so the Lakovia team, they come again. As uh, both teams uh, had their water break. As a fourth play forward. And the Stets team, they're not winning the second ball as a walker. On to Joven Griffiths, couldn't control. And the 
the first lightning and uh, referee Tummins not taking any chances. So uh, referee Tummins just So welcome back to the St. Elizabeth Technical Sports Complex, a force substitution made by the Lakovia team as number 14 is in, that's uh, uh, Kiwani Samuels is on and number 15, Marco Dean Smith is off. 1-1 one, one is the scoreline and this is after the lightning uh, action. So, uh, uh, 4 46 p.m. in the afternoon, and uh, just 23 minutes gone. Uh, there's a uh, Johnson, and I couldn't get that one across. Good. So, the Lakota uh, team. Uh, Grab that equalizer in the ninth minute from a header off a corner by a number 10, Rashina Francis, before the Stets team, they took the lead through number 15, Shemar Stewart, with a, a top in. As a well, lack of their team, they come again as a substitute, Samuels, who is a playing in the attacking four. Here is a the Stets team on the attack as a number three for the Lakovia team reverted back to his centre back to the centre back role. He was playing with defensive midfield as the Stets team they come again and uh, doing a little bit too much though. Doing a little bit too much. You, you have to play the game simple in order to get this, the chemistry going. And you're giving your yourself uh, extra work when you're doing too much and also uh, not allowing the team to to develop a rhythm free kick steps free kick Lakovia sorry so Lakovia 2024 and if you just joined us let me thank you again for making it goal at Buster Sports Notes as we bring to you uh, schoolboy football from the St. Elizabeth Technical Sports Complex. Uh, accurate passing as Ambersley Lakovia. Looking for Cunningham, intercepted uh, by uh, Johnson. Johnson who dribbles. And uh, ball over to Captain Blake. And the dummy that was uh, red. And a free kick coming up here for the test team. Justin McPherson was brought down. All right, so Henry Johnson over this free kick. Three players implemented in the wall. Test free kick over the top, headed away from Francis. Yeah. So instructions are coming in from the head coach Omar Rambo Wedderburn to get that one across give his teammates a chance and, uh, unsuccessful so 1-1 one, one remains a scoreline Stets versus Lakovia here we go and uh, he got away with a shot and it's easy for goalkeeper Henry Cunningham. 
Passes that one across. Cleared away partially. Cleared away from Lynch. So the first fielder, they're finding it hard to handle the high balls. Get that ball away. And the ball over the top. The goalkeeper comes and kicks that one out. And uh, a cynical try to shield that one away. Throwing Lakovia. 1 1 remains the scoreline. 29 minutes. First half action. Uh, nice control. And a shot that is easy for a goalkeeper. John Oil Steadman. Keep that one in play, so uh, number 14 uh, Kiwani Samuels with that shot for the Lakova team just coming on to the park. Last touch, Last touch of, of Captain Blake. So 1-1 one, one remains the scoreline as uh, the Estes team and the Lakova team, they are on equal terms, first half action, there is a Jade Lynch, play that one across, and giving away possession is right, McPherson has done well, here is a McPherson, play that one too, it's a nice touch, and uh, would not get it away, and uh, skipped away from the challenge, as a uh, as a Simico play that one forward, but uh, Rahul Hill is there to avert that danger. Here is a uh, Francis with a shot block corner kick coming up here for the Lakovia team. So they had the equalizer from a corner kick. Let's see if they can repeat it here. And a similar corner. There's a header. And not bad. That seems to be a Garden number six with that header. So they have one for the second time ahead of inside the penalty area. So the state team they had to be they have to be mindful of those high ball. One one remains the score line. So the, the Lakovia team, they are hard tacklers. Uh, Jade Lynch who played that one for the run of uh, Stuart. Stuart get around his player really well and uh, couldn't get around. Duncan. Uh, Wellington giving away possession on to uh, Ambersley who dribbles away from one. Even away from two, he slides, he got back up and I could not hold possession. Here is a Jade Lynch and that excites the crowd. There's a play. Oh, that's a nice ball over the top for Johnson. He needs to put that one in front of him. Yo, and Johnson with a perfect opportunity. All he had to do is go around the ball to get it on target. He stretches and uh, goal kick is the result. And that's a chance. And Johnson, he needs to do better. As uh, right is down. So 1-1 one, one remains at the scoreline. 34 minutes. And... Uh, 11 minutes 
of normal time in this first half to go. So uh, the uh, center is a very technical venue with proper lighting. So uh, don't worry, folks. Uh, doesn't matter the time. The game will go on. And the goalkeeper comes and uh, collects. And uh, the Lacova team will come again. Waiting too long as a bustle and a tackle that referee the Cummings have no choice but to give Najee Brown the first yellow card of the game. So Najee Brown in the referee's book. Thirty-fifth minute yellow card. So one-one remains the scoreline here at the Central Botanical Sports Complex. And ball and didn't know where the ball was. Number ten, Francis. There's a, a Justin McPherson. So in Lacovia, so the you have to weigh your pass. It's a quick outfield and, uh, due to the, the rain earlier. Uh, you have to know how to weigh your pass as uh, the Lakota team in with a throwing deep down in their half. The Stets team they need to, to close the gap on the throwing. Cannot allow the, the, the Lakova team to get out easily. Walker is a one forward for Samuels. Hill has done well. He's having a good game, is Rahul Hill. He's getting the ball away. And that is good. So the Stets team, they come again. The Blake was bundled off. Duncan will get that one away. There's a garden. There's a one possession. Okay, he dribbles. And uh, the first team, they have depth. They have depth. So, uh, as a Francis who. Oh, here's a Francis. He's a through. Francis through two players. Was that outside the box? And uh, just on the edge of the 18, and a free kick. And I'm sure that number 10, Francis, will fancy this one. He's a hard hitter. And a free kick just on the edge of the 18, Lakovia. All right, so here we go. Number 10, Francis, free kick on the edge of the 18 yards, Lakovia. Oh, and the wall has done its job. And, uh, Here's a, another shot across the face. And that one coming in from captain number three. That's a Joven Griffith. So the Lakobe team is producing some energy here at the center of the technical sports complex. 1-1. One, one. Here we go. 1-1 one, one remains the scoreline. And uh, the Lakobe team through Francis really having a good game. Number 10. As a this test team, they come again. There's a blade and turn. Controls did not turn. He, uh, force back to uh, Malik Wellington. Uh, there's a uh, Justin McPherson. He's uh, forcing the ball. And uh, uh, it's a good surface to play the ball around, but uh, they keep forcing the ball forward. And it's not working here for uh, the Stets team at the moment. There's Justin McPherson. So in Lakovia. So uh, uh, both teams are, are enjoying their game. Free kick. Stets taken quickly. Ball across. Johnson is there. And Johnson will 
kick position. He needs to lift his game up. Ball across. And Stuart oh, couldn't control and the turn. Bounce off the number 15 player like it hits a wall. And you have to, to learn how to cushion your ball down. It wasn't a surprising ball. It was, you see, you've seen that ball coming from away. As a corner kick coming up here for the Stets team. 1-1 one, one remains the scoreline. Again, short. Here's Johnson. On to McPherson. Second consecutive corner coming up here for the Stets team. So, three minutes of time to go in this first half. And the Stets team having a second corner. Johnson, McPherson. There's a McPherson giving away possession. Now the Lakota team, they can come forward. And uh, Jade Lynch. Uh, ball all the way back to his goal keeper. He pulls that one long away. And uh, Lynch. On to McPherson. Now uh, giving away possession again. There's a Johnson. Decides to dribble. Johnson. The ball fell nicely and cleared away from Dunkley. From Duncan, that is. Ball a switch to right. Oh, that's a nice ball. Can he get the first touch? And the flag was up, though. But he should have get that ball down. Very fast outfield, but you have to get those balls down. Here we go. Two minutes of time to go. And uh, free kick, Lakovi. Walker to take. Inside. Headed away partially. Still inside the danger area. And, uh, there is a distance team who can go forward to Lynch. This is behind right. Here's right who plays inside. So McPherson who plays that one over the top. Can Brown get there? Jovan Griffiths here first, number three for the Lakota team. And uh, just surrounded by two players. Now the flag is up. Three kick Lakota. So we're into additional time. And, uh, this team in the possession to uh, Johnson. Oh, that's a nice ball, but uh, uh, Stuart, he, he did not control. He, he allowed the ball to, to pass by him. And the turn allow the Lakota team to get that one out of the defensive third. 1-1. One, one. So taking the ball down and uh, just shoved in the back. And on a McPherson and uh, the Stets team with a free kick in a very interesting area. 1-1. One, one. We're into additional time. And uh, McPherson with a free kick. Can they get the second from this one on the brink of half time? Three players in the wall. And uh, the back post. And they headed away for a corner kick. And, uh, Francis on the back post. He got that one out. He was going in. And uh, McPherson races to the other side to, to take that corner. And we'll leave that one for, for Johnson. Left foot in swinger. Nice corner. Still inside the danger area. And uh, now they clear their lines. Right. Lost possession. 
Walker. Right on to Ambersley. Rahul Hill. Nicely done. Going to scoop over the top. Gordon is there. Can you keep that one in play? Uh, good. We're expecting the halftime whistle any moment now. 1 1 is the scoreline. And uh, uh, just getting right back in Cunningham involved. There's a ground. Too close to Garden. So, referee Tomlins. The ball that is direct, the goalkeeper comes. And there the goes the first 45. 1 1 is the scoreline. Shemar Stewart for the Stets team in the third minute. And uh, the uh, headed equalizer by number 10, Rashaina Francis for the Lakota team. 1-1, half-time score.